Okay, this is going to be a quick demo of a um, program that you can use on your iPad and with other student iOS devices known as Nearpod. Um, and there is both a teacher app and a student app as well. And it allows you to kind of have control over what students see on their screen. You can also make it interactive and they can draw pictures and complete polls and all kinds of things like that. So what you're looking at now is the site. Um, for Nearpod and uh, we can go ahead and log in and I can show you around a little bit um, and what mine looks like. Okay, let's go ahead and log in and so this is kind of like the, the Nearpod dashboard. Um, I can create, uh, how this works is you create a presentation either in a PowerPoint or Google Docs and export it as a PDF and then you can upload that into this site and then make it accessible on your iPad. So let me show you an example. Uh, if I create this, you can see all of these ones that I have currently created, and we can take a look at um, you know, one of these. So if I um, have this edited, um, I want to edit this presentation. Again, I can go through and you know all of these slides on here are from a PowerPoint. It's actually a Google Doc that I exported as a PDF and then uploaded it here. All of these ones are um, additional interactive pieces that Nearpod adds to them. Uh, if I hit this edit button, um, it's going to tell me I need to copy this because I've already published that one. Um, if I add a new slide, you can see all of the options. I can have a PDF or an image file. I can do a slideshow. I can add those types of things onto this. I can have a poll. I can have a question and answer. I can do a quiz. I can do a video. I can have students draw. Um, on a blank canvas and I can see those drawings and share them with different members of the group or I can have them browse specific web pages on their device. So there's lots of things that you can do and I'm going to show you some examples of both what it looks like as a teacher and what it looks like as a student. And again this is called Nearpod. It's available on student um, iOS devices and also the, the teacher device has to be an iPad. Um, but the student devices can be iPhones, iPads, or even um, iPods, uh, as long as they're iPod touches. Um, so I'll show you some more of what the, the apps look like and how the interaction is with students. Okay, um, so we're going to take a look at the app. Again, I'm just going to go to Nearpod, and as a teacher, I'm going to go ahead and use my username and log in, the same one that I did for that website. Um, and I'll see the same presentations on my iPad that I saw before. I have to make sure they are published um, so that I can present them to students. Um, once I have them published, I can go ahead and you know, pick from the presentations that I have on here and already made from the nearpod.com website. Um, and again, if they're published, I can then just go ahead and select which presentation I want to go to. Alright, um, once I'm here, I can you know, launch this uh, to make it available to students. And once I launch it, you know, this information is optional, it's not needed. Um, I usually just skip it. I can provide students with this pin that's up here in the, the top left hand corner. Um, so I would provide this pin and it's specific to this presentation and it's the information that students put in under um, their student login on their own devices. Okay, uh, so again, back in my view, as students log in, I can see them joining. I can see how many students I currently have. And if a, a number of students, you know, a student leaves, that number will turn red and will reduce as well. So I know that that student is gone. Okay, so students will see the same thing as, as I see on my screen. As I scroll forward or progress, um, it'll progress for the students as well. Now, the first slide as you progress on Nearpod is always an opportunity for students to sign in. Um, and they can put in their own name and the ID is optional and you'll see you know, here's what the students see they can log in with whatever name they want and put in an optional ID uh, as those names come in as students log in I can see them and again I can keep track of how many students I have in the top left hand corner so again I can display information from a presentation but I can also give a poll so you saw my view this is a student view of a poll they select their responses and as a teacher, I can then see what each student responded with. Uh, an additional benefit is I can then display the results to the whole class. We can have a discussion about that, um, look at you know, the distribution of our answers. An additional thing we can do is students um, can draw their responses. 
Well, here's an example of a student drawing their response. And as a teacher, again, I can see every individual student's response attached to their name. And I can then select um, those and share them out with other students. So again, we can have that um, discussion if we need it. Um, so that is Nearpod. Again, there's lots of options for it, to, things that you can do. Um, you, again, it starts with a presentation and you, know, you can add all of those interactive things on top of it. Yeah, as I said in the beginning, it's a great tool for classrooms that have iPods or iPads and it's a great way to have that interaction on top of um, a presentation.